this is the business, and y'all ain't getting nothing for free. And if you devils play broke, then I'm taking your company. You could call it reparations or restitution. Lock and load, nigga. What's the matter, folks? The fucking plastic and rubber and the food isn't good enough for you? You need some radiation in your life? The shit from Fukushima just keeps skyrocketing. Nobody's fucking talking about it. When's the last time you heard the government talk about it? The last time I heard, I heard Obama say, uh, nothing to worry about. I suggest you do nothing. I suggest you take no precautions. Who in their right fucking mind would say that? Even if there was the slightest fucking chance at there being any poison, nobody would say that. They would say, just for the hell of it, why don't you take safety measures? Not Obama. In fact, he took 14 million tabs of potassium iodide off the shelf right after it hit the fucking news here. And by the way, the news didn't pick it up for like two fucking years. While us truthers were screaming it at the top of our fucking lungs 72 hours after it happened. 72 hours after it happened, the fucking radiation was here on this coast. They're burying fucking radiation, garbage, and debris next to our water supply in North Highlands. Hello? If it's doing this shit to the fish, what do you think it's doing to you? This asshole at TEPCO says that there's no way thyroid cancer can accumulate anymore. It can't increase. Because it's already increased 6,000%. And he's saying it can't increase anymore. Funny, could have fucking fooled me. I thought radiation wasn't accumulative. And unless you fucking get something to stop this shit, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. The IAEA keeps raising the fucking safe levels of the radiation. So people find out about it, they go and look at it, oh, well, we're at a safe level, it's okay. They've raised it at least over a thousand times. The government's supposed to fucking jump in and say something when it's at 2,500. It's way fucking over that. This is bullshit. They are fucking killing you, and like I always say, they want you dead. What, fucking chemtrails? GMOs? Fluoride, the shit in the vaccines. I suppose all of these are just accidents, right? Whoops. One thing, maybe, when you got a fucking handful of things right in your face, pounding your fucking central nervous system every single day. That is no conspiracy. And besides, if you didn't know what a fucking conspiracy was, it's when two or more people get together to plot evil. A conspiracy theorist is someone who questions the claims of known liars. Let's keep those in mind. I think some people need to go back to fucking school here. I'm over on TruthSoldier.com. Let's take a look at some of their shit they got. There's a bunch of shit on here that Dabu posted. Here's one here. This is uh, gotten way out of control. If you eat any seafood, I highly suggest you stop. I don't eat seafood, so it don't matter to me. Uh, but you know, it's going to continue to spread. And even after I showed the fucking global research map, to uh, the city council. They could care less. Nobody seemed to give a damn about the map. Except for uh, Daryl Fong. Wow, it appears Fukushima is causing Americans to get cancer. No, you don't say. Wow. Worst nuclear accident in history. And that's according to the IAEA. And a bunch of these TEPCO workers, you know, they keep going in there, and they're just dropping like fucking flies.
PEPCO originally claimed that it had done everything possible to protect the nuclear power plant. But we now know TEPCO executives had discussed the need to build up coastal defenses back in 2008, two and a half years before it. Folks, if you don't know, they build nuclear power plants on fucking earthquake fault lines. Hello? What fucking madman came up with this idea? Nuclear power plants, I believe 90% of them are on fucking fault lines. That's no accident. They want you dead. How many times I gotta say it? Go to theywantyoudead.com And that's only the vaccines and shit. You have no idea the fucking diabolical plan that is laid out right in front of your eyes and nobody wants to take a look at it. This is the New World Order One World Government Plan. You bet your ass I'm going to be getting into it even more. And I'm going to just keep shoving this shit in your face until you fucking get it. And this is what fluoride poisoning does. It drops your fucking IQ level. It makes you docile and submissive. Or else everybody would know this information and we would be fucking lynching a bunch of politicians by now. Forced vaccines on your fucking kid. Mandatory. Anybody allowing that shit with their kid is out of their mind. Well, California just passed it. What are you going to do about it? Your kid wants to go to school? You got to get a vaccination. You don't give your kid that vaccination. You understand? They're fucking packing the vaccinations with doses upon doses of shit that you don't even need. It's diabolical shit. Just go to just go to theywantyoudead.com. Look at the fucking vaccine shit. Just look at it. How they get away with this is an unreal. Here's the nuclear plant chief saying he has no idea how to decommission the reactors. Technology doesn't exist. No viable method to deal with the melted fuel. So many uncertainties, we don't have accurate information. Engineers declare problems insurmountable. I tell you time and again, there's a fucking media blackout in this country. I know people overseas. They tell me. There is a media blackout in this country, and what a coincidence that all the media organizations on television are owned by fucking globalists. Big surprise. You know how many fucking channels Ted Turner and Oprah Winfrey alone own? Folks, this is fucking diabolical. These are evil men who want you dead. They don't give a damn about you or your family. It's set to kill everything on the planet. For the next thousand years, radiation will spew from this global disaster. It may be too late, so protect your health by avoiding seafood and West Coast produce. You have to care for yourself because they don't care about you. Just ask yourself some pointed questions. Why wouldn't they tell you about this? And, oh, how about another thing in the West Coast they're not telling you about? The big fucking gas leak they got off the coast of California. That's supposed to be bigger than fucking Exxon. Media blackout. They're not telling you fucking news that you need to know. Your lives are on the line and they ain't fucking giving you shit.
What are you going to do about it already? Twitters always sound insane when telling what the insane are doing. Just type in Fukushima. End of story. Even a fucking fluoride coma induced moron could deduce that there's something seriously wrong with it. Now we are fucking being bombarded with this shit. You start asking some serious fucking questions and demanding answers. You tell them if they don't give us the fucking answers, we're gonna fucking lynch them. That's it for now. God bless and carry on.